Have you ever wondered why some people have massive wrists, ankles, or even massive cheekbones and chins? Well, you're probably thinking that it's all down to the person's genetics, and many times that is actually not the case. And in this video, I'm going to explain to you why that is and how you can make your bones thicker and larger in any area of your body. Now, first, it is very important to understand what micro tears are. Micro tears are what happen to, for example, muscles from putting them under stress by, for example, lifting weights at a gym. Once a muscle gets micro tears, it repairs itself and heals, except the muscle repairs itself to be bigger and stronger than it was before being put under stress. And this is how muscle grows from exercising them. The same thing happens when you get a wound. Micro tears happen to the skin, then the wounded skin repairs itself to be thicker and stronger than it was before being wounded. Now the exact same principle applies to bones and it is no different. Putting bones under stress creates micro tears in the bone and it causes the bone to repair itself to be thicker and stronger than it was before it was put under stress. This is known as Wolf's Law. The bone in a person will adapt to the stress under which it is placed so that it is able to handle the stress it is being placed under. And the opposite applies as well. If the bone is not placed under any sort of stress, it will become weaker and smaller. There was a study conducted using patients from the US Military Academy to see if bone size increases from exercise. And the results were that the group of people who did the most exercise had a 5.8% higher cortical thickness than the group of people who did the least exercise. So from this study, we can indeed conclude that bone does grow in size from placing it under stress. And there are many examples of physical activities that make bones much thicker in certain areas of the body. Look at Alex Honnold, a person who has been doing rock climbing for most of his life. And look at the size of his fingers. They're huge. And this is from putting the bones in his fingers under large amounts of stress when he uses them to hold his body weight while climbing. And look at tennis players. The serving arm of a professional tennis player has thicker bones than the other arm. Take a look at this x-ray of a pro tennis player's elbows. Notice how much larger the humerus bone in the right arm is compared to the left one. It is 20% larger. And this is due to actively using the right arm more than the left one while playing tennis. And if you haven't noticed, many wrestlers have large cheekbones and chins. And this is due to their face getting hit in practice when they are not wearing headgear. So you'd go hit your cheekbones and chin and this would make them larger. And another example is American football players. You might have noticed that many American football players such as Tom Brady have large brow bridges. And this is actually due to that area being hit a lot and put under stress. And weightlifters as well. Many weightlifters have large joints all over their body. When they lift weights, it is not only their muscles that are growing in size, but it is also their bones to some extent too. So if you want certain bones in your body to be larger, you could definitely look into starting an activity that increases the size of those bones that you want to grow. Now, I'm not saying that genetics don't play a role. In fact, they do play a significant role in determining bone size, but environment can be a huge factor, and in some cases even a bigger factor than genetics. So if you did find this video informative, please do leave a thumbs up and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.